you know, part of me, uh, you know, part of my road to recovery to help on this is admitting that I wasn't the greatest parent in the world. You know, I, I wasn't the greatest parent in the world. I wasn't the greatest dad in the world. And I, I call, and when I talk to my daughter, I talk to my daughter more often now than I did before because, you know, when I was younger, I was all about chasing girls and going to the club and, you know, she'll be all right. That's kind of like how I took it because she was with her mom. But, you know, when I talk to her now, she tells me how that affected her. And I wasn't the greatest dad in the world to really be there with her, all that. So, you know, first step I did was I admitted that, I, I, you know, I wasn't the greatest dad. But, see, the thing is, is that, you know, we grew up in a generation where our dad wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, it'd be like 10 or 15 of us, no dad, walking down the street. None of us had dads walking down the street. So, you know, we didn't, you could say we kind of took it kind of bad, but we took it as that's reality because our dads didn't have our dad there too. Like, it was like a cycle. So it was like, Grow up without your dad was some usual shit. But this generation, they got a hard time. They have a hard time taking the fact that their dad's not there and, you know, and their moms are more emotional about it compared to our mom. She, you know, my mom, she wasn't really emotional about it. She was just like, fuck it. But you have a lot of emotional moms in which they're harping their emotions upon their kids and these kids are turning out bad. And then you're not even getting a giving a you not even giving a kid a chance to even make a decision in life. You got your kid wearing Gucci and and and, 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 dread, and putting chains on them and, and, and diamonds on them. It, this nigga's only three years old. Where the fuck is he going with a diamond chain on and, and, and diamond rings and stuff? What, what are you making here? Are you trying to make a successful black man? Or are you just trying to make a drug dealer, a thug, ready, for, ready, ready to go to jail? What are you making here when you're dressing your kid up like that? And that's how these kids grew up. These kids grew up with fashion on and grew up thinking, living expensive. Wasn't even, wasn't even, don't even have no money living expensive, thinking that money just comes and goes and everything is a joke. Everything, life is easy. You can make money and do this and blow life. And nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. So kids are living fast, dying fast. You know, this is the most, this, this, is, this is horrible. I mean, people want to talk about, you know, cops killing blacks. What about blacks killing blacks? I mean, we have kids dying. My friend, my friend Ren just lost his son recently. And this is my friend. This has been my friend for years. You know, I don't even know how to even talk to him and, 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 and consult with him about that. You know? But all I'm saying is that, you know, as parents around my age, man, when are y'all going to set the limit? When are y'all going to blame yourselves and actually talk to your kids? I'm not saying discipline them, try to bring out a belt or, or try to yell at them. Then talk to your kids, you know? Tell them the real about life. Tell them the real about if he lived this life, he may not never see reality again, dead or in jail. You know?